Jagdish Kumar here, Assistant Professor, Department of Textile Technology, Vignan University. Today we are going to discuss about the garment dyeing, printing and embroidery unit 2, the last class of the last video. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, the photochromatic dyes and the process of uh, printing for various styles. And uh, so here, this is the unit 2 contents. In this, already we have discussed the recipes in case of the first point is over. Second and third points are very small. So we are going to discuss the printing of garment with photochromatic and the thermochromatic dress. What is it basically? The process is same. And the garment printing machinery like the table printing, multi-arc, flatbed printing machines and the digital printing, transfer printing machines, what are this? These we have already discussed in the earlier videos but uh, in order to complete this topic we are going to discuss in detail about the specific machinery. Okay. So this class contains the printing process for various types of prints, the garment printing machinery and the chromatic dice water. So in another unit 2, we have discussed various types of the garment printing methods and garment printing types which are commercially used. Okay. And in this class, we are going to see the printing process for them in detail in this video. Okay. So what is printing process? Yeah. So printing process is the one with the help of screen and all, we will be applying the localized dyeing. Okay, printing is nothing but a localized dyeing. Okay. So in the earlier class uh, classes we have discussed the different types of prints like plastisol prints, non-PVC prints, high density prints, pseudo ink prints, discharge prints, sticker print, pigment print, glitter print, metallic print, foil print, cuddy print, then puff print, then uh, or the special uh, beads print, beads print, then uh, silicon print and the flock print where the fiber flocks will be attached to the fabric and organic prints and also we have seen uh, some uh, uh, extra types like uh, encapsulated, the micro encapsulated techniques for uh, observation of smell and uh, we have also seen glow prints where uh, in, under the dark it will glow like the radium and all. So these are the different types of prints uh, and we have seen uh, how they will be done and what are their advantages and where it will be generally used. So in the next uh, point we are going to be discussed it, the process sequence comparison for all these types of prints. Okay. So in this slide you can see the entire process sequence. Okay. So for the bulk printing, for the bulk printing, okay, if you see the PVC, okay, or uh, the basic uh, plastisol print, so for this what happens, the initial steps will be screen preparation and print paste preparation, okay, then the pallet printing, we are going to see what is the machine, pallet printing machine, the carousel printing per se machine, which uh, we have thoroughly discussed about it, but again we will see the pallet printing machine and then the curing is optional okay this curing is optional okay then afterwards the fusing is mandatory the fusing is mandatory if you understand the plastisol print or the pvc print what happens curing is optional fusing or the heat pressing is mandatory in order to obtain the surface smoothness and proper curing okay understood if you wanted uh, not surface smoothness, then in the curing itself, it should be properly cured. Okay, in the curing itself, it should be properly cured. And then if you see, the second well, okay, so what happens? Pigment, non-PDC, distress, gel print, discharge print, metallic print, high density print, puff print, silicon print, and glitter print. All these prints, the sequence is same, okay. So screen preparation, print paste preparation, but the method or the kind of ink which you are going to use is going to be changed but based upon the, the kind of print you are going for it. Okay, for print paste preparation it is going to be changed but that itself has a process. Then the planet printing and curing. There is no fusing process in this case. Fusing is nothing but the heat pressing process. Curing is nothing but the heat pressing Fusing is nothing but the 
heat pressing process okay securing only process in case of pigment non pvc distress gel discharge metallic high density buffer silicon glitter okay there is no process of uh, heat press in general okay but if you see the sticker print there is no screen preparation nothing direct sticker placement and then fusing machine whereas the heat setting will next place okay similarly the next one is the foil print in this screen preparation then there is no print based preparation why right? because the foil will only perform the gel gel print okay that means the adhesive will be printed and then the foil paper will be placed and then it will be the next process is the heat press machine or also can be referred as a fusing machine okay so this is for the foil print then for the next one is the flop in this also what happened screen preparation is there but no print paste why because but in case of base is required it may be done then palette printing of gel print then it should be carried through the flocking machine where the table will be a electrostatically charged table will be there and afterwards curing and air and all will be sucked from it okay then if you see the glitter and sugar print sugar is nothing but the same glitter itself simply little bit more okay sometimes uh, sugar print we haven't discussed thoroughly but the sugar print is nothing but adhesive will be putted and then the sugar like the granules will be poured on top of it okay that's all wherever it is there it will adhesive and all later on by means of uh, air suction and all other things whichever is not bonded properly will be torn out okay so in this case what happens the screen preparation then uh, the palette printing then uh, the glitter or sugar pouring okay on the top then curing and so i hope you understood so you know, there are for uh, curing or uh, this thing uh, one, one option is either through the conveyor belt or through the heat press okay for pvc through the heat press is required and for sticker print and foil print heat pressing is mandatory okay but whereas in other cases it can be if that itself is required or the, the curing machine itself is sufficient okay so please make a note of this uh, chart and uh, it is not available in any of the book okay so this is about the printing process for different types of prints used for the garment printing okay then second point which we are going to discuss is the the machines used for printing of this garment printing okay so generally used are like the table print and then are then parasol print okay So table print is nothing but very long tables will be there as like the spreading tables and that. So on top of it, uh, the printing will be done and then uh, there will be too many lines. Okay, on top of the table, once the printing is done, one person will take this and put keep it for the line drawing. Okay, so these tables are the same which can be used for spreading tables with some narrow width. Okay, spreading tables may require up to 80 inches, but up to 60 inches of this one will be may be sufficient for table printing. The thing which is required for spreading the exact width of the fabric is sufficient. But whereas in spreading table, it may be little bigger. Okay, this is about the table printing. And line dry is nothing but once the printing is done, you leave it as it is, such that what will happen? Uh, it will uh, create or uh, it will. Uh, dry on naturally that is referred as the line dry okay that is referred as the line dry you leave it naturally but uh, in the case of plastisol and its related bases line drying is not possible but in the case of like discharge or pigment based prints and all the line drying is okay okay if any of the woven fabrics which are going for the line drying it can be done okay So the line drying is the basic, simplest process. Okay, where once the printing is done, it will be kept on the top of uh, a line. Okay, so the line drying will be carried out. This is about the table printing. Okay, the next one is the most commonly used is the parcel printing machine. So these machines are available both in terms of the automatic.
automatic and semi automatic machines with uh, four colors six colors eight colors 10 colors 12 colors up to 30 colors also in, uh, are available but most commonly used up to 16 colors okay and along with this uh, what happens the electrical heat panels also will be included why? Because the plastics are the wet on wet printing is very very difficult and not possible. So in order to create or in order to uh, perform the printing on top of it, so in between the curing need to be done. So that is the reason the electrical heat panels are included. Okay. So either this one or the spot curers both can be done. Okay. And uh, there are the too much mechanism of automation is available. The figure which is available as like this one means only a manual uh, intervention would be sufficient and the squeezy will be done manually. Okay, But that also can be automated. So that uh, only the people who are loading and unloading will be consisting uh, are performing the job. Okay, So that is about uh, the carousel printing machine. In this we are going to see a carousel printing machine in operation. For this example, it is taken with a five color printed baby blanket. So, this is the final garment which is there. So, here mostly it is automated, only the loading and unloading area is the manual operation which is should be done. So, this baby blanket is kept on this uh, uh, tray. So, this person is completely removing the already printed garment printed garment panel or this blanket and then he is loading the fresh blanket on top of it okay so this is consisting of five colors and this palette this is a wooden palette so on top of it the screen will be coming and this five colors going to be printed in this machine okay so you can see the color one the grayish color which is being printed the first so if you observe the two of the uh, squeezes which will be simultaneously working on it okay so one squeeze will be applying the pressure and the second squeeze is not applying the pressure but which is spreading the coating okay so here the first color is printed on this baby black so by means of inching so here the offsetting of the screen on the palette is very very important here the second color that is a red color which is being printed if you see you can specifically observe how the color spreading is taking place and how it is being uh, applied with the squeezy present okay now you see it is going to be spreading the print paste is being properly spread okay so we need to take proper care and need to see how whether the both offsetting of the colors is okay or not okay if the offsetting is not uh, okay then what will happen obviously it is going to create much deviation and all the goods may go into the second quality so this is the third color which is being printed okay the third color which is being printed the print paste is being applied okay So, three colors are done now on this paste. So, again, what happens? The main bearing in the machine, the middle bearings are more important in this machine. So, this is the fourth color. Okay, so four color or five colors are being printed with it may be having a minimum of more than 10 carousels. Okay, so more than 10 palettes should be there. Then only a five color printing is possible. So one more color is remaining. So this is after the four colors. So offsetting at each place is very very 
uh, required okay and this is the final color the fifth color okay which is being printed onto this baby blanket okay so this is the maximum size which can be possible with respect to what you call the pallet printing plus so that's why i am specifically showing this video okay. not only a basic shirt panel and a okay. very big panels like this baby blankets are also can be used with pallet printing plus the maximum of 40 inches by 60 inches can be used okay so this is how all the five colors are being printed okay and this baby blanket consists of all the five colors so this pallet printing machine the rotary carousel type of pallet printing machine is this one so here what happens is the two shafts can be made or can be rotated independently so the bearings in the middle one is the very important you can see all the different colors properly synced with each screen to the other one so this is the work which is done in the screen printing machine and this machine is referred as carousel printing machine The other one is like to the, what we are referring as a digital fusing machine or also heat press machine. So used for heat transfer press and designed to be transferred to the garments, so fabrics, leather, resins, nylon, polypropylene, bags, etc. can be used for fusing like plasticizer printing. And uh, these also can be used for khadi, pigment, etc. And also can be used for uh, a normal... Uh, fusing machine for uh, making fusing of collar and cuff also whereas the size can be of 20 inches by 30 inches uh, which is uh, generally available the same can be used for fusing also and same can be used for uh, curing of the plasticizer prints also so which will give the pressure and also the temperature so the figure which is showing is the tandem uh, fusing press so it will be having two heads so on one head uh, the garment will be kept so when it is applying function or heat and all the other uh, will be uh, get readied by the operator so operator will uh, make it ready and uh, once it is done when he presses it it will come on to the other one so by the time he will remove already fused the garment and all again place it okay so that by the time the heat application on the other press okay the two presses will be functioning this is known as a tandem digital fusing press okay so apart from this the electrical curing machine which is quite common in case of any of the printing industry uh, so basically it is like a conveyor okay and uh, from the top and bottom the heating modules will be there in between so accordingly we need to depending upon the density and all and based on the curing and all we need to adjust one is the conveyor speed and the raw temperature which is being given so that uh, whether it is uh, so in this what happens ki whatever the line drying operation we discussed so we will take a lot of we will save a lot of time uh, like 3 to 5 hours which required for the line drying can be reduced to 2 to 5 minutes ok so this electric curing machine is uh, comes very handy for a digital printing machine so this is one of the machine ok then in case of specific to flock print and all uh, the electrostatically charged table is required uh, such that uh, the fibers will be landed straight onto the uh, top of it so that uh, the flock uh, uh, finish can be obtained okay so that is the reason uh, this is one of the equipment which is specifically designed and specifically used only for the flock prints it is not required for any other type of printing types okay only for the block print yeah so that is about the second topic which we are discussing in this video and the third topic is the chromic dice okay what are chromic dice chromic dice 
are the dyes which change colors and the change of the colors will be reversible okay and generally the color change is based on the alteration of the electron states of the molecules present in this okay so this chromism chromatism can be of uh, uh, various types and uh, it can be classified on what stimuli is used for changing of the color okay so the process of reversible color change is referred as chromism okay and uh, if you see the major kinds of chromism are like one is thermochromism thermochromatic dyes so induced by the heat okay and the second one is photochromism which is induced by the light radiation basically whatever the radiation from the sunlight and all when it absorbs it forms a temporary bond and changes the colors and the third one is the electrochromism which is induced by I means by giving the electricity and all the color will be appeared and then uh, the solvetochromism basically by application of solvent the color is going to change these are the major one apart from this the other known chromisms are like uh, one is ionochromism which is induced uh, by ions then uh, halochromism by change of the ph and then the trichochromism by means of the mechanical friction and then uh, piezochromism basically under the pressure okay so this concept is used not only for textiles various plastics and various kinds of materials okay so basically the thermochromatic and photochromatism is the one which is quite commonly found in terms of the textile applications so this thermochromatic and photochromatic are uh, encapsulated dyes primarily incorporated into plastic or textile colorants for uh, very wide in commercial applications the thermochromatic dyes undergo a color change over a specific temperature range whatever the temperature range that can be altered okay so the dyes currently available change from a particular color at low temperature to colorless at a high temperature okay as like in this figure what is happened uh, the thing is there so by applying hand in this so what will happen the color is going to change okay within a 2 degree centigrade also the perceived color is going to change thermochromism which are available for a specific color range and that which can be altered by the manufacturers okay so the thermochromism induced by the heat the color change temperature can be controlled that the color change can takes place at different temperatures so the dye manufacturers are able to manipulate the critical temperature for the color change okay so one of the example in case the tautomers of crystal violet lactones so the dyes undergo ring opening and arrangement okay so if you see here the structure which is there m2n me2n me2n and me2n which is there so what happens in between by means of exchanging one hydrogen atom so what happens a temporary bond or uh, what you call uh, the ring is going to be created such that structure is going to fold okay so it creates a colored compound than the regular compound okay so basically in order to change our the thermochromatic pigments or materials are formed using an organic dye an acid activator and a low melting solid such as ester or alcohol basically for encapsulation purpose and that acts as a solvent when liquefied So these three agents are generally put inside the micro capsules the acid activator organic acid and colorant okay as the temperature grows so what happens it will be uh, from colored state to colorless state it can be converted from the colored state to colorless state it can be converted and it is a reversible process and of course the durability is a uh, Thing. one of the example is like the umbrella you can see in this photo so here what happens uh, in the shade it is in black uh, and in the sunlight it is uh, changing its color from black to the silver color okay 
So we are going to see a uh, few of the videos. Okay. So just try to observe how these are functioning. Stop it. So then, the photochromatic dyes, these are the new type of dyes. And uh, which will change the color of the plants once they are exposed into sunlight. So here there are uh, no organic uh, compounds or no acids and that. So it will absorb uh, the change of the structure basically done by absorbing the ultraviolet radiation which is available from the sunlight. So under the sunlight where UV is there, it shows as a different color. And when it is in, inside, there is no sunlight means obviously no UV rays, right? So obviously it shows a different color. Okay. So today we're gonna to demonstrate how to use solar active color changing ink to impress them. And we put it on some pretty stuff. And our screens have already been burned. So now we're just gonna lay down our black so it's better to lay down your outlines of everything. Then we're gonna just lay down the color change. This is with a manual press, so obviously you can see that you don't have to press really hard. You don't need to lay down a lot of ink, it's a very close screen. And you just keep doing each one of the color changes um, one after another. And this, is, this happens to be a six press machine. Then you take it off and you're going to let it go through the dryer for 30 to 30 seconds, depending on your cure time with your ink, what your ink temperature is. Joyful doom. Beautiful breeze, let it cool off for a couple of visions of you. So this is the indoor view. Oh, stand on. Once the radiation is removed, once the it is not under the sunlight, the dyes resume their original color. It will come back to its position. Depending upon the environment, day or night, sunlight or shadow, the cloths can change their colors. Okay, isn't it very fascinating? Yes. So here we are going to see a few of the videos basically to understand. Uh, this is a color changing UV shirt by Solar Active International. It changes colors right when you go out outside and then once you go back inside it takes a minute or two and changes right back to this. Just like magic. Let's go outside. Check that out. Right away the color just pops out of you. It's a little windy but that. It's a solar sales t shirt. How oh, it is? Yes. So, the takeout of this class is basically we discussed about uh, the process of printing and then uh, we came up with the uh, what you call uh, once the printing process is done. What are the machinery and all we have involved in garment printing that also we have discussed 
and we also discuss the photochromatic and thermochromatic dyes and their basic concept and when it comes to printing and all, so the same screen printing can be used only the type of ink is changed okay and we need to take a greater care during the curing and all. that is the one point you should make a note okay curing temperature so that's all for uh, this class and uh, we are done with the unit 2 of garment dyeing printing and embroidery so these are the, some of the references where we have taken the material okay and uh, thank you very much for your patient listening and uh, noting down all the things which are required okay so stay safe and uh color changing fun for the whole family Unlike most color changing shirts that need sunlight to change, Shadow Shifter shirts are heat activated. They change color when you touch them, so you don't need the sun to have color changing fun. Inside, outside, anytime, anywhere. Several different colors and sized for boys, girls, men, and women.